And we're going to Smashville. Probably going to be a hand warmer, knowing um, the Pikachu main. Or we're just going to go right into it, actually. One thing that always scares me about Pikachus is the fact they SD sometimes. Like, it's like when you lose a spec, it's like, oh, you SD'd. Rip. Pikachu! Um, Thunder Jewel is very good for camping just because on the special platform because there's not really much you can do about it. E except for certain characters, you can't do it at all. But there's. But characters like in Sonic, you can just throw it out free willy. And they can't really do anything about it. I'm trying to catch them with the Thunder. I think he was wanting to catch him with the up air, but it's like, he's too high. Uh, Doc took the first Doc. Um, Just use back air till it works, guys. That's how you take a stock. Just back air till it works. Um, doing the basic bright and butter combo. Spin dash to up air. Up air is a true combo at low percents. And now dog is just gonna resume to spamming thunder. Nope, it's not gonna spam thunder, thunder jolt. So doc is doing pretty well. Um. A relatively unhurt player, um, and in fact, actually, Kuma themselves are showing. Nice. Tries to he, very good weave it a uh, weave away because he would have definitely died to that forward smash. Sonic's forward smash being very strong. For um, not very strong, but one of the strongest moves in, the, in his kit. And it's a move you just have to respect. A uh, back throw should seal it, and that is a game. So CT takes game one after a few adaptations. Definitely banning Lilat against Pikachu. Pika Lilat is a very, very good stand up Pikachu with Pikachu. And we're going to Town and City, boys. We're going to Town and City. Uh, I'm not sure if you can use the invincibility of Spin Dash to get their Thunder Jolt. I'm sure it's probably a really tight window. But because um, Thunder Jolt, uh, Spin Dash has invincibility and not, I mean, it has a tangibility and not invincibility, it doesn't get rid of the Thunder Jolt. Because when you have a tangibility, uh, you just. The moves just don't affect you at all. So any move with Hit Stun, it just does not, does not affect you at all. But if you have invincibility, it, it does as if it hits you. For example, if um, if you do like um, a electric move and you get and you usually stay hit stun, um, it'll sh it'll show that in invincibility. But with the tangibility, it does not. Hit it with a reverse hit of board smash. Pikachu's quick attack quinking um, that shouldn't kill it with good DI, yeah.
Okay, for a second there, I thought he was gonna run on that because he cannot run with that platform. And that goes to the CC up smash, um, something he likes doing. And most of the time, he actually never gets punished for it, which is always funny to see. Spring being out the quick attack. And now all CC needs is to grab is steal the stock, and he is definitely fishing for that grab. We're avoiding all the kill moves right there. And that is a dead Pikachu. No way he was not surviving that. And now just racking up all the damage. CC almost overlapping over percent. And that's always so scary to see uh, when you do um, up B to up air with Sonic because sometimes you can die if Sonic has a good bit of rage. Like it's just that scary. Um, SDing, unfortunately, giving him that stock, you do not want to down it. Um, I wouldn't say that was probably the most optimal punish because he could have definitely done a force smash because he could just skull bash is pretty laggy of a move. Tries to go for the Thunder Spike, and you have to respect that. Not dead. I'm pretty sure CC doesn't want to go off stage now, guys. And that is the set, guys.